Hey everyone, I'm Cece. This is my walk away video for the walk away campaign. I'm excited to um, let you guys know my journey. It's been really amazing and I'm just grateful that this platform exists for all of us. So a little foreshadow, I grew up in the suburbs of Michigan in a two parent household. Politics were not talked about in my family. I always thought it was because my father didn't have the patience and that he would never see what the world really is like. Um, but we all know that that's clearly not the case now. I label myself a liberal because that's just what you do. That's just what I thought you did. Good people are liberals and Democrats and then the other people who are stuck in their ways are Republicans and conservatives. Um, but I wasn't political, so I really didn't even know what that was. I just slapped a label on myself. I never filed politics. In my circle, I didn't have anybody with opposing perspectives. There was no conservatives in my circle, and if there were, I was probably too ignorant to notice or ignorant to listen. So after high school, I graduate. I moved to Detroit for college and I lived down there. I interned in Detroit Public Schools. I worked down there, and I met a lot of different people, made friends with a bunch of great people. But the one thing that always stuck with me to this day is why are certain parts of the city still struggling so badly? What did we do wrong as a society? How come it seems there's this, um, this generational cycle where certain pockets of the city people get stuck and they can't get out of. So in college, I always thought, why is it that these parts of the city are not talked about? They're not focused on. Obama was in office for eight years. Majority of Detroit voted for Obama, but yet he didn't even know so much of bring it up in a headline to focus on inner cities like Detroit, Chicago, Baltimore. So after I graduate college, I move away for a couple of years and I'm on social media one day. I wasn't, I didn't have a Twitter at the time. So somebody had reposted Kanye West's tweet on Instagram. And for those of you who don't know, Kanye West tweeted, I love the way Candace Owens thinks. And underneath the post was really, really awful comments. The comments were, Kanye West is ill, he has a mental illness, he's a sellout, he has no idea what he's talking about. The comments seemed to just be accepted and normalized, and it didn't seem like anybody was really questioning why are we bullying Kanye West for saying that he likes the way someone thinks? Isn't that more concerning? Wouldn't that be more of a red flag about where we're going as a society? We're okay with telling people he has a mental illness. We're okay with people wanting to shut his voice off. Okay, Kanye West tweets that he likes the way Candace Owens thinks. And Candace Owens is a black Trump supporter, okay? And I didn't know who Candace Owens was at the time, so I looked her up. Um, the first video that I watched of hers was Black People Don't Have to Be Democrats. And for those of you who don't know, Candace Owens' message in the video is, listen guys, for 10, 20, 30 years, black people have been told that they have to vote Democrat. It's just like this expected birthright. But the Democratic Party hasn't done anything for black communities or inner cities in the last 10, 15, 20 years. Obama was in office for eight years and absolutely nothing was done for inner cities. Candace is saying we can have freedom of thought. Our minds don't have to be enslaved anymore. We can leave the Democratic plantation because the Democratic Party is taking our vote for granted. I think to myself, wait a minute, black people don't have to be Democrats? Wow, I totally thought that that was a given. I was told that basically minorities and people who are woke are the Democrats or liberals, and then the other people are Republicans. 
I never even questioned it. So I thought I knew how people should think. And then I started thinking, well, Kanye West and Candace Owens support Donald Trump and the whole world is hating on them. They're saying that they lost their race card or their sellouts or they've been paid. Wait, this doesn't make any sense. You're basically saying that black people can't think for themselves then. So a black person has to follow the crowd and they have to be part of groupthink. And if they choose not to be and they choose to support Donald Trump or have um, different ideas and perspectives, they can't think for themselves. Isn't that the issue? Isn't that concerning? And shouldn't we be really concerned that people like Don Lemon can go on to national television and verbally abuse Kanye West, tell him that he has a mental illness and that one of his family members should come pick him up before he embarrasses himself in front of white people? So all this stuff is spinning around in my head and all of a sudden I just feel this weight just lift off of my shoulders and I just started seeing reality through a completely different lens. It was a feeling that I can't ever explain to anybody. I've never felt it up until this point and I've never felt it again in my life. Ever since that moment, my mind has felt so free. I think more logically, I think more critically. I'm actually seeing the many layers of reality and not just reality in black and white. So now that I'm seeing things more clearly and I start to go further and further down the rabbit hole, I have all these questions. One being, okay, Kanye West says he likes the way Candace Owens thinks. Candace Owens is a black Trump supporter. They're both getting bullied by the mainstream media like Washington Post, CNN, the New York Times. Why would the mainstream media bully Kanye West and Candace Owens for simply telling people that they can think freely and they don't have to vote Democrat. That's weird, right? Well, I do some more research and I learn that majority of the mainstream media outlets are Democrats. It's left-wing media. And Democrats depend on 90% of the black vote to win. If Candace Owen and Kanye West's voice start to get out there and people start to hear them and they start to realize, wait, why am I voting Democrat? Democrats haven't done anything for us. They haven't done anything for inner cities. All they do is talk identity politics. So of course Kanye West and Candace Owens want to start telling people, hey, listen, you don't have to vote Democrat anymore. You can leave the Democratic plantation. But that message is a threat to Democrats because Democrats depend on 90% of the black vote. I'm almost done, I promise. I've now made the connection between Kanye West liking the way that Candace Owens thinks. Candace Owens is a black Trump supporter. She's telling people that they don't have to vote Democrat and that they can leave the Democratic plantation. But the mainstream media outlets are bullying them for thinking that way because the mainstream media outlets depend on 90% of the black vote to win. And if black people start to wake up and realize that they don't have to vote Democrats, then Democrats have no chance in the elections, right? So now let's go back to my question about the pockets of Detroit that just have been struggling for so long. It doesn't seem like the cities have been looked at in the last 5, 10, 15 years, um, even with Obama in office. How come there's so much high crime, gang affiliation, high school dropout rates, trafficking, struggles with drugs and alcohol, uh, kids raising kids? How come nothing seems to have gotten better within some of our inner cities. What do the Democrats talk about? What do they fight for? They're obsessed with identity politics. They always try to make it about race. They make everything about race, which generalizes and creates way more hate and divides us. It does not bring us together. Let's really think about this. The mainstream media, what do they choose to show their viewers? only things that have to do with white and black race. So why do we think that is? Why do we think the Democrats are constantly pushing this race narrative? Their goal is to convince us that it's worse to live in the year 2020 than it was to live in the 1900s or during the civil rights era. 
They're trying to convince us that we need to vote for them in order to reach some type of peace. How come the media, which is ran by Democrats, don't focus on the black Trump supporters who are trying to get the message out there that doesn't matter what you look like, you can be successful, you can reach your full potential, and you can be anything you want to be. How come they don't talk about minorities' success stories? How come they don't talk about how we are all getting along? How there are accepting and loving people of different races? How come they only focus on the negative race issues? It's because they have to control us to get our vote. And the only way to continue controlling our minds is to create a division. And that's exactly what the mainstream media is doing. And the mainstream media is ran by the Democratic Party. So that's my walk away journey in a nutshell. Um, it's been both inspiring and educational. I'm just really happy to be a part of all this. I'm extremely happy to be awake for all of this. I wish you guys all luck, follow your heart, and thank you for listening to my story.